All right, so in this circuit, when we have multiple capacitors, we're going to first try to um, solve the parallel circuit. So we're going to leave the 10 alone, just fix the parallel one. Remember, you do the opposite. So this should be 10, and then this would be simple addition, right? So this is going to be 50. And then for this one, this is where you're going to sum the reciprocals. So 10, 50, 1 over 10 plus 1 over 50 equals 1 over C. Um, and that should be 8.33. All right, let's just work our way backwards. So we have 120 and we have the capacitance. We're missing the charge. So we're going to solve for the charge. So Q equals CV, 8.33 times 120. Q is uh, 1,000, right? So that's the total charge here, 1,000. We're going to go place that known information back onto this circuit. So remember with series, the key concept is they get one and only one charge. They both have the same charge. So this is going to have a Q of 1,000. This is going to have a Q of 1,000 also. So what are we missing here? The voltage across them. So we're now missing the voltages. So we're going to find the voltage across each. V and V. Okay, so we'll use the V equals Q over C. So this is 1000 over 10 gives me 100 volts. This one is 1000 over 50 that gives me 20 volts. You can do a little mini check. You know that those two should add up to 120. So we must be on the right track. Let's go back to this circuit. This one is going to be 100 volts. So we've already found this one, right? 100 volts. And the charge was 1,000. Um, this one we already found, right? This is 20 volts. So we'll just find the charge for each. So Q equals CV. So it's going to be 20 times 20 and 20 times 30. Okay, so this is 20 volts, 20 volts, 400, 600, And do the mini check, these two should add up to 1,000. Okay, multiply cross. This gives us 10,000. What's this? 8,000. Oh, I forgot to divide by two. All right, good job. Thanks for paying attention. 5,000, 4,000. Okay, someone read these off to me. 50,000, 4,000, 6,000. Oh, okay. Right. 